Okay, in this video we're looking into custom GA4 events not firing and sort of specifically these are events that you make within kind of GA4 itself. So we're just having a look on my own website and I'll kind of show you <coughs> what the issue is and how we can kind of resolve it. So essentially what's going on just in a general kind of report here on the overview. You can see here we've got some event names and they're all just the standard event names. Um, if you're not sure what I mean, I'll, I'll link to that. But basically these are all the built-in events of uh, GA4. But any of my events that I've kind of made specifically for my site, there's a few test ones and you know bits and pieces just sort of dotted around. Um, these hadn't been firing, none of these at all had, had been firing since it turned out uh, November the 13th. So. I kind of tried to work out what was going on and then I went back through and checked through the change log in uh, Google Analytics and sure enough on November the 13th there was um, this notice here so require config for custom events and that says for most properties you must have a config command on the Google tag installed on a web page for custom events to be sent and you know, I assumed all of this was in place and working, but uh, when I went through and I kind of looked at this, I realized there was a couple of things that I needed to tweak and change to get this back working again. So just so you can see quickly up front, we're in the real time overview, come down to here, you can see standard events. Uh, this is just my web page, and then we'll just do the phone click one, for example, it's a custom event, just clicked on it, should come through, we should have one out of five. You know, sometimes this can take a bit of time, you know, up to sort of 30 seconds a minute. It can take, usually it's pretty instant. So it's, you know, it doesn't look like it's come through. This is me here on the home page. Nothing's kind of happening. Nothing's come through. So what we'll do is for me, I came through, jumped into the admin down here and there were two things I needed to do. The first one under data collection. Uh, down here, there was a new user data collection acknowledgement, which I hadn't read and I hadn't acknowledged. So I had to do that. Um, so just double check in there. First port of call under data collection. Just make sure you've done all that. That's happened. The next one, if we come into data streams, you can see I've got one data stream here. That's just my website. You might have multiple ones. If you do, you have to do this for each one. But essentially for this one, I've got all the enhanced measurement enabled because I use that stuff um, you know if there are certain things that aren't being tracked you can check in there just that it is being tracked and you know you haven't switched anything off by accident um, but the issue for me was under the configure tag settings when you open this out you can see here we've got this one specific option collect universal analytics events collect an event each time a GA cust um, sorry, each time a GA custom event timing or exception call from Universal Analytics occurs on your website. Um, basically, if you switch this on, what you should find is that your events start working again. Um, testing this, obviously I'm just doing it myself, doing it in the real time tab. Just make sure you haven't excluded yourself from external traffic on the website, you know, like put your IP down as like an in-house person or ignored traffic, because obviously you can't test it then. So um, yeah, what we should be able to do now is just jump back into here, go to reports. We'll go to the real time report again. And just so you can see, so you can see down here, we still don't have that phone click that's come through. And what I'll do actually, let me close that tab and I'll just come back into the site. So it's kind of like a new session. Okay. And you can see here, it's just loaded up my web page again. And all we're going to do is just click here again on the, um, on the phone number link. Um, if you're using things like consent mode, just make sure you know you've accepted cookies. They're all gone into like a um, uh, like a accepted state, not in denied state or anything like that. Sometimes you'll just need to jump onto another page just to make sure that kind of activates. And then what we should see in a second, with any luck, is that this should come onto another uh, another event. What I'll do actually. Um, I don't know because I've already got this event, uh, sorry, this session running, if it's going to work. So let me just quickly, what I'll do is I'll just open it up in the incognito window, click up into there, we'll take that away and I'll close that. 
and then eventually what we should see is it come up in here and what you'll find is you know if you have obviously blocked yourself from reports or you know your own testing is not working you should find eventually that these things will show up in your reports anyway because other people will be included in the reports and you can see now that we've got the phone number click come through so now we've got the the ga4 events working again so like i say this um it's generally not going to affect you if you're kind of using uh, tag manager all that kind of stuff because it's loaded in in a different way but if you're loading the tag in yourself and you've got events set up like this it might be that you just need to configure those options just to kind of bring this back and then like i say once you've done that you should then be able to do some tests and you you should find that this has started to come back through and your uh, custom events will start working again and it's especially important obviously if you've got your ga4 events that are supposed to be feeding out to Google Ads and that kind of stuff. Obviously, it's important to have those going through, otherwise your conversions are not going to be working properly. So hopefully you found that helpful. If you have, uh, please give the video a like. Um, if you want to see more kind of GA4 tutorials, there's some more in the playlist on this channel. And um, please subscribe.